Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Y2. Last time we caught Ryulu, our newest new member, also called Kratos. And we found a Terrier and met up with Alder and some guy called Mr. Metal. And Alder told us that the gym has been opened in a spiritual city. So let's now go ahead and take on the first gym in the game. But this definitely does not look like a gym. I asked Older from Fluckesy Town to teach here. He declined, saying it was the air of young people now. And you're not young! We are young! So we set the world on fire! But we didn't start the fire! It's been always burning since the world's been turning. Do you use items during Pokemon battles? If you'd like, try using this. And next step. Okay. We're getting all kinds of different X items now. I don't get it. I don't use any of them. You know, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I should probably do. Should probably do that actually. Uh, medicine. No. GMs. Berries. Got five orange berries. I'm just going to give them to Kratos. And one to uh, Damu. Just in case they get low health, they can just instantly heal. It looks like a clock, but it has no timer on it. Oh, why? Normal type Pokemon are weak to fighting type Pokemon. But the only Pokemon around here like that are the, are the Rayuli in Flockacy Ranch. So it actually tells you about the uh, Rayuli here. It'll be a simple test of strength. Wait, are these books for Pokemon to... Yeah, this... Here, I'll read it. You can surprise a Pokemon and stop this evolution. Yeah, if you want to stop the evolution, just press the B button. Spiritual Pokemon Gym. So here is the gym. Or a gym in the back of the... Uh, oh. This definitely doesn't look like a traditional gym. We're we're in the backside of the building. Hello, I'm Clyde, the guide for trainers who challenge Pokemon Gyms. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. Ooh, fresh water, nice indeed. Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers' abilities. But put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you are another Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. And I have two Pokemon. I think that's more than one. You must be a challenger! Welcome to Asperger City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Charon, the gym leader. Hmm. Well, maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. We have a challenger! You two, take your places! So they need to train, basically. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent! So we have two, two trainers before we can take on the gym leader and... Or, I don't think we even need to take them on. No, you can just pretty much skip them, but... Uh, I highly recommend that you fight them. Charon saw potential in me and made me a trainer in this gym. Indeed, let's fight! But yeah, I highly recommend uh, that you fight these trainers in here because uh, it's a good experience for you. Level 9, uh, Kratos is one level higher, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he is. Let's just go for a quick attack. I'm pretty sure he will. He's probably going to go for a scratch. Okay, good for a lair. Good thing I didn't go for the counter. I, was, I didn't know if I actually wanted to go for a counter, but. The, Quick attack works well because it's a uh, solid two hit or th sorry three hit KO on the Petrat. And there we go, Petrat has been defeated. Believe he had two Pokemon. Oh, Kratos grew to level eleven. He's just growing like a madman. Faint, uh, uh, faint. It's not a, a very good move. An attack that is a target using protect or detect. It also lifts the effect of those moves. But uh, I, I don't know. The only real Pokemon I'd like to use protects are like Pelipers and Wingulls and those kind, those Pokemon. But I don't think I'll use it. Press the wrong. Keep old moves. Yes. Give up on faint. Yeah, I don't think I'll need to use it. I've never actually used it. Here we got a Lillipup. Hopefully, Lillipup won't hit us us too hard Just for a quick attack. Uh, because I have the layer on me, I'm not really sure Kratos can take this tag. Oh yeah, he had the uh, Aura Berry. Wait, it did like 12 or 10 damage, so... See, I just wanna see him at this quick attack. No, okay, I'm not going to risk it. I'm not on... I'm honestly not going to risk it. I could use a potion, but... Uh, I don't wanna waste a potion at this point, so... 
I'm just going to switch out Kratos and go into dub move and uh, take this tackle like a man. Okay, that's definitely not like a man. Uh, good thing I didn't use a potion because it probably take almost taken out. Oh, that's the critical hit. Payback. Pedro has been defeated. You're strong, Jesse. Your Pokemon are strong. Well, I'm strong too, you know. If you can defeat the girl too, you can challenge the gym later. Or do you have? I think you actually have to fight these uh, two trainers or else uh, Charon won't take you on. Now I'll show you all of the things I learned from Charon. Show me your moves. Falcon kick. Falcon jump. Wait, well, okay, that, that's not in the Falcon repertoire of moves. So another Lillipop. Uh, now this time I'll definitely switch out to Damu, so... Damu, so... So you can take those hits from the li- Okay, maybe not. That's just an older salute. That, that... I don't think that makes too much of a difference whatsoever. Or... I guess so, because uh, Leer I don't think is a 100% accuracy move. So you could help it with that, but whatever. Tackle... Uh, it does 10 damage, but I have the Orange Berry. And I'll be sure to remember to uh, put the uh, Orange Berry back on uh, back on the move whenever uh, I. Oh my god! Uh, that could be bad! Uh, I didn't expect that critical hit, I'm not sure. Kratos will, will need to kill it. So I'm just going to be on the safe side and use a potion. On Kratos. Good thing it wasn't Kratos that got defeated. I just hope. Okay, Lair. I think that will work to my advantage because two tackles would do more damage than a than a Lair than a ta and a tackle. Okay, I didn't even need to heal up Kratos, but I just wanted to be to on the safe side. If you know what I'm saying, Petrat. Oh yeah, Kratos is the only Pokemon I have left. So come on, Kratos. Show me why you are the god of war. That did 12 damage. Well, this could actually be a tough battle. Lear! Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm honestly not going to risk it. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to tweet kill me either way, so we could actually lose this battle if, if we're unlucky. That would not be good. Okay, Lear again. That I think can actually work to my advantage because I don't think it. Uh, it's going to... Oh, barely! Oh, thank god! Thank god he used Lear. If he would have used, like, Scratch or Tackle and Critical hit at me there, I would have been so sad. But there we go, Petrat goes down. That was actually a pretty tough battle because of that uh, crit from the uh, Lillipop. For now, for now, let's truly become your own. I didn't even get to read it. Anyway, okay, you're pretty good, but can you beat Charon? Well, I'll try, but I think I can. Anyway, let me just go ahead and heal off my Pokemon. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. And we're back. I've healed off my Pokemon. I've also saved my game. Uh, that is recommended so your Pokemon are fit for fight. And just in case you lose, you just start back uh, back where you last saved. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Charon. Yes, as this is your first gym challenge. This is my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's do... Let's both do our best, and have a battle we can be proud of. So here we go, the battle against the first gym leader. Charon is going to start with a level 11 Petrat. Uh, I decided to start off with Ray, or sorry, Kratos, and see what the Kratos can do against the, a Petrat. I still wish I would have... Okay. That is not good, because Workup raises both his attack and special attack. Tap show the that move, I see you'll be a powerful opponent. So that Petrat can uh, be a powerful opponent too. Okay, it sets up another Workup. Uh, that means that it's only going to be able to hit me with one, uh, one move. And I do hope that move is not too powerful. Uh, a Tackle, okay. I think Ryulu can take it. Okay, Kratos just... Took that one like a man. I thought it would do uh, more damage, actually. Oh, come on, Charon. Really? Really? You had to use a potion on that one? Come on. Uh, I think you can actually go for a counter here. Uh, Kratos should be able to take the tackle, counter it back, 
And you're down Patrath. I've definitely worked to my advantage. Finally counter worked out to my advantage. And he has the Lillipop as his final Pokemon? When I remember your last time, Charon, you had a lot better Pokemon than this. Come on, so his final Pokemon is a level 13 Lillipop as a Dream Leader. I aim to be a wolf for you to overcome. Uh, so this is his uh, main Pokemon on his team, a Lillipop. Work up. Uh, I don't know how well Damu can Damu can take a hit from uh, Lillipop. I just know that I can wind whip it back. Uh, it's just going to continue to work up. Probably going to hit me with a physical move because uh, generally Lillipops don't use uh, any any kind of special moves. Uh, I honestly don't know how this one is going to work out. Oh, work up! Oh, <laughs> I'm so funny. This is one with it, so we can get it at uh, such low health that uh, a tackle, not, not a tackle, but oh god, that did a lot of damage. But I'm saying that uh, take it as slow as I can. That yeah, this looks like a a, a quick attack from a crater. Should be able to take out the little pup from there. If he doesn't decide to use a, a, a potion again, I think he only has one potion. Hopefully, let's go for a quick attack and. Lillipop has been defeated. Kratos have defeated the Lillipop. <laughs> that was actually a lot tougher than I kind of expected. But we grew to level 13. This, this is what a real Pokemon battle is. Indeed. And he lost his glasses too. Maybe Bianca stole his uh, glasses over these two years. That battle has made me feel really glad you were my first challenger since a gym leader. I give you this in honor, in honor of the strength you and your Pokemon showed. The basic badge. It's your first gym badge. The basic badge. This is an important milestone. With this badge, Pokemon of the level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. I want you to take this, and you will get. TM-83 Workup, which could actually be a pretty good move for uh, someone like Rayulo. Yes, two years ago, Pokédex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. Well, wonder who those could be. Anyway, Workup could actually, not not frustration, but Workup, workup can, could actually be a pretty good move for Kratos, since uh, uh, Rayulo could be both a physical and a special attacker. Even though I got that Impis nature, I, f I still think uh, it could be good to have uh, work up, at least uh, in this uh, early on in this game. And uh, there's a light show showing down, shining down. I hope you remember the wonderful moment in which you received that patch forever. I remember and cherish, cherish, Sharon, that one forever. Oh, <laughs> I'm just a horrible human being. Hey, Pikachu! How was it? How did your Pokemon battle with the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic bat. Well, amazing! You just set off on your journey with your Pokemon. Definitely a potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is from me. It's a team for the move. Return! Which is the opposite of frustration. I didn't even get to explain frustration. Frustration does more damage the, uh, the more the, your Pokemon dislikes you. And return does the more damage... Uh, that your Pokemon loves you, basically. So, at a maximum, I think they have 100, does 100, 108 damage, if I remember correctly. Still at Charon. Bianca! It's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow! What? What's up? I thought it would be a good idea to raise your children in the egg transceiver. Now you can communicate with me from your egg transceiver. M me too! I registered Professor Un Juniper for you too! Uh, it's okay, who is calling me right now? Whoa, every. Okay. Hi there, Emil, I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted a Pokedex. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, we will all know more about Pokemon and be able to get along with them even better. Hi, Professor Juniper. It's me! It's really interesting over here. There are so many Pokemon we couldn't prove were here two years ago. 
Thank you for going so far for this errand, Bianca. And Sharon, how are you enjoying being a gym leader? It sucks! I just lost to this guy over here! Presumed for it's been a long time. I'm glad you're doing so well. The gym leader position is very tough. If I had my usual partners... Oh, Sharon. Having battles that come down to the wire will make you a, you a gym leader who deepens the bond between your challengers and their Pokémon, right? You'll be fine. Sharon's a new gym leader. I'm an assistant Pokémon professor and Emil's a new trainer. But we will always have Pokémon by our size. That's right, Bianca. A world is a world where we live with Pokémon. Everyone keep their mind in... Mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon, particularly you, Emil. I forget it may be important, but facing your your journey with your Pokede Pokemon to your heart's, heart's content. Hey, Emil, is not Professor Unipa cool? If you like to talk her to her in the extra and see what she'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you about how Pokemon evolve. You can call us too, of course. I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along. So much talking! Bianca makes a good point. I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. Well, thanks for the offer, but I don't think I'll need it. They might actually need it. Are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle! You look like a top trainer. Understood, please come into my Pokemon gym. Oh, was that weak ass? I'm definitely going to take you down! Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. The next thing is to make it so you can use the C gear. Tigger is a cool device for communication such as infrared con connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. So we get the Z gear, even though it's probably not going to turn on. Oh, I'm not going to use it. Some function. Is that okay? Yes, it indeed. Turn. Whoa! Touch the power symbol at the bottom right of this. Z then of the turn on power, if you touch it, the button will come to see you. You can read about the Z gear. Like, what are you going to do now? You know, there's another Pokemon gym in Burbank City, which is just past Flockacy Town. Which, uh, let's see. Turn it on. I guess we can turn it on. Or, it's not going to help us in the slightest since uh, we're not going to be online or something. But I, we got the radar here, which, whoa. Okay, yo, I guess you can search for trainers there. You got question mark if you, got any, if you want any help. Here's, I think, the settings, pretty much. Or something. With the wireless, the infrared, and the online thing. But uh, I can just turn it off since uh, I'm not going to be using it whatsoever in this last play. Anyway, next time on Pokemon Y2, we're heading off to Verbank City and the next gym. I will see you guys then. Goodbye.